Today we're looking in the New Testament, the writings of Paul the Apostle to the Colossians. And it is a nice message that Paul brings. I love the Pauline writings. There are people in churches today that despise the writings of Paul and have taken on other beliefs. Some even believing that uh, your physical life uh, is considered different to your spiritual life in Christ and you can do what you like. Uh, answering to the lust of the flesh and still enter the kingdom of God. This is not so. So let's go to Colossians today, chapter 1, the first chapter in Colossians, starting at verse 9 and reading through. For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom, spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power, for all patience and long-suffering with joy, giving thanks to Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or power or principality, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have preeminence. I'm going to leave it there in verse 18. I just read verses 9 to 18, Colossians 1. The title of our message today, Application is Qualification. Application is Qualification. Many people looking for the qualifications to do this and this and this and this. And <coughs> rightly so, if you want to be a mechanic, you have to go to school and learn about being a mechanic. Or if you want to be an engineer or you want to be an architect. All these uh, earthly things and, and things that are done on the earth, uh, in, in society and in the world. And rightly so. But when it comes to the Lord, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual enrollment there's a spiritual uh, realm and there's a natural realm and we read here in these verses in these nine verses very clearly that uh, that Jesus that Jesus uh, by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth the visible invisible whether it comes down to dominions princes powers principalities all things were created through him and for him he very clearly says here listen to this and he is before all things in him all things consist and I don't believe anything would exist without him. He must have the preeminence. I'm going to give Jesus the preeminence here today. 
I'm going to lift him up. I, I, I like to give Jesus the preeminence every day and everything. I'm going to give him the preeminence. I'm going to exalt him again because I love exalting Jesus. I can't help but do that because I have the Spirit of God in me. And the writings of John 16, uh, 14 and 13 and 14 say very clearly that uh, when the Holy Ghost, the paraclete, comes and, and, and he dwells in a person, the person is going to exalt Jesus. Not Father, not exalting the Holy Ghost, but exalting Jesus because the Spirit of God or the Holy Ghost will lift up Jesus and will speak of him and exalt him. Application is qualification. When we apply the Word of God to our life and our lives, all our qualifications that God has given us are going to start to bud and manifest and blossom and bloom. All the qualifications. Whatever he has qualified you to do, it will manifest. I don't believe in these Bible colleges of men. I don't believe in man equipping you. I believe in God equipping us through the message of the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the teacher, and the evangelist for the equipping of the saints. But the qualifying, I believe, comes from Father. Let's read it, our cheap verses, verse 12. Let's give thanks to Father. Colossians 1, 12. Let's give thanks to Father who has qualified us to partake of the inheritance of the saints, of the disciples of the Christ, who are in the light. That's where the saints are. They're in the light. They're walking in the Word. And when we walk in the Word, our qualification, you might be qualified with the gift of helps and you can't help helping people. You might be qualified with the gift of preaching and you can't shut your mouth. You just keep preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching. And they tell you for years and years, shut up, I don't want to hear what you say, but you're qualified. Your qualifications are made manifest to all by what comes out of your mouth. I hope you're listening today because this is a very important message here today. <coughs> the word qualify means to provide with the necessary ability to do something. To be provided with the necessary ability to do something. You know, uh, no one taught me how to preach. No one taught me how to teach. No man done that for me. No one, no man taught me how to write. No man taught me how to play a guitar or sing. Okay? I just naturally, in the spirit, sing. How great thou art! Oh, how great thou art! Because that's what I believe. You know when you believe something, really truly believe it, and then when you speak it, I tell you people will know you believe it. It will touch the heart of the listener. So verse 12, our primary verse, the title of our message today, application is qualification. When we apply the word, we're going to be given, well, well actually we're going to manifest the qualifications that God has given us. You might be qualified to be an evangelist. I know there's a lot of people out there today, they have a piece of paper and says, I'm an evangelist, but they're not evangelists. They may be evangelizing, but they don't have the, uh, the call and the anointing of the evangelist. The evangelist 
uh, as a healing gift. The evangelist uh, has a, a gifting to teach. The evangelist uh, has a, a, a very keen ear in the spirit. And the evangelist um, wins souls like nobody else, naturally in the spirit, as he is in the natural. Can you say amen? Qualifications. There's a lot of people out there today that qualify counsellors, so to speak, but they're really not qualified to counsel uh, with any great weight or any great result because they don't have the spirit of counsel, the Holy Ghost. They're counselling people, they are, but they're leading them down another road. These psychologists and psychiatrists and, and, and you know, and the likes, even so-called Christian counsellors who supposedly have the Holy Ghost, have, uh, uh, you know, um, betrayed the Lord and mixed another potion, you know, the old witch's brew, a few drops of bat uh, blood and a, and a couple of um, uh, spoons of, uh, you know, cactus juice and mix it all up. And they got a piece of paper saying they're a counsellor. And if you listen to the rubbish they're telling the people, uh, it's look, they're going round in circles and they have 360 degrees behind their name, so to speak, you know. They're basically professional idiots and uh, on their way to hell. Because we've read the scriptures today. We read only nine verses of this wonderful book. We've only read nine verses and it tells us all about creation. It tells us about who made it, who, who didn't, who's the power and who's the head and who's the head of the church. It's not the Pope. We've only read nine verses here today, dear listeners. Can you say amen? Come on now. We've only read nine verses. And look, I haven't even touched the sides of my message yet today. I haven't touched the sides uh, of the power and the outcome of applying the word to our lives. When we apply the word, when you walk in the light of his word and you stay on the straight and the narrow and you walk with him, it's all going to manifest and bud and bloom and blossom and you're going to know who you are and where you're going and who your God is and who everyone else is. The truth will set you free and look the liberty is not from this earth it's from above because this word is from another planet hallelujah hey it's from another planet you can say amen or oh my let's give thanks to father let's give thanks to father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and I tell you what, we partake of the inheritance when we fulfill and go forward in our calling, whatever it may be, no matter how small it may seem, it's great. And no matter how great it may seem, it's great. When we go forward in our call, we're going to partake of the inheritance that's due to us because we've answered the call We've answered the call to repentance and the call to salvation, the call to restoration, the call to qualification, the call to the appointment and the anointing of God in our life. You can't get any better than that. You can say amen. Oh, you can say oh my, oh why, but I'm going to say hallelujah.